Hi, this is Norman Kochnick here for Extra Time. I'm at the Sydney Cricket Ground, the SCG. I'm in front of the Alan Davidson Gates, which leads through to the statue of former Australian captain Steve Waugh. I'm here today because Australia and India have both had their training sessions, both on the field and in the nets, in reasonably clear conditions. In fact, there's a bit of cloud there now, but generally the skies have been extremely clear all day. That'll lead into tomorrow's training session, which will lead into the first day of the test, the third test, on the 7th of, of January here on the SCG. Of course, the COVID-19 restrictions have certainly come into place. We now have a quarter full stadium of some 10,000 people, which will certainly not be as big as a full stadium, but certainly quite amicable for the public. They'll be able to come and see the games throughout the days of the test. I'm here to, you to talk to you about the Indian team and, and several movements within the Indian team and specifically Rohit Sharma. Now, of course, he's the vice captain, which makes him a 200% certainty of playing in the third test. That means there'll have to be a shift to the batting order to accommodate the likes of Ro Rohit Sharma. Now, Rohit Sharma, people have forgotten it's been more than a year since Sharma last played test cricket with injuries uh, ruling him out of both the Indian, India's tour of New Zealand earlier this last year, in fact, and the first two tests of the Border Gavaskar Trophy. The series hit and this series commenced recently. Given the time that's elapsed since then, you may, have forgot, for, be, you may be forgiven if, in fact, you forgot that he actually had several incredibly good last, last scores or last session season scores in whites when he opened for the first time and rattled off scores of 176, 127, 14, 212, of course, six and a 21, in a home series against South Africa and Bangladesh. Now, that, that's pretty damn impressive. As an opener, it warrants selection. Those numbers certainly warrant selection in an immediate return, and Sharma's promotion to test vice captaincy suggests he will do just that. But where will he bat? Well, obviously, I've mentioned to you about his opening, opening the innings and scoring very well. Mayan, Mayan, Mayank Agarwal is likely to actually miss out, which is very unfortunate because I don't think he's batted that badly. That'll see, obviously, Robert Sharma bat with Shubman Gill, Pajara at first drop, Rahani at, at second. Then you'll move into the likes of Vihari, who in fact really has, has played particularly well. Not quite getting the big runs that he wanted to do, but he's batting particularly <coughs> He will. So I would, I would argue that will be the batting order, the main top order, that is Sharma, Gill, Pajara, Rahani and Vihari. Coming in at six would be Rishabh Punt, followed by seven, Jadeja, eight, Ashwin, and then the bowlers. Now the bowlers obviously made up definitely a Bumrah, Bumrah and Siraj will make up nine and ten. That's the eleventh position on, on the team. That's up for question, obviously, with Umesh Yadav being injured and gone back home. Also, Kale Rahul also gone home. Well, he's injured as well. That'll see the likelihood of a new bowler into the test team between Shardul Thakkar. Obviously, Natarajan is also a very strong chance, and Navdeet Saini. So, out of those three, we'll see one of them selected for the test match here on the 7th of January. That actually leaves a quite a strong bowling line, nevertheless. Mumra and Siraj, obviously with Jadeja and Ashwin as the main four. And I, I would argue, Navdi Sami's in with a pretty good chance of playing. Obviously, Shadul Th Thakur has been also being talked about in the press. And Nana Rajan's also there with his left arm bowling. I can't see that being an issue. I think that the team will be particularly strong. We've also got to remember that Sharma has yet to open in any way, in any way test. And that, that would obviously be Australia. And hasn't had as much, much match practice as the others, although he certainly has been in the nets quite a bit today. So there could be a case for India to ease him back into the action rather than throw him into a new ball batting straight away with against the likes of Stark, Cummins and Hazelwood. But I, I actually think the opposite. I actually think, I actually think that he will, he will be opening and by way of being vice captain, he'll take the charge early with Rahana coming in the second drop as captain. It'll be a great combination for them to be both very close to the top of the order. And Pajara at first drop. Gill's in amazing form as well. So it's very, very strong top four. We mustn't forget back to Vahari for a moment here. His defensive technique and ability to absorb pressure could come in handy at the top of the order as well. But I think he'll stay after Rahani. That's my thoughts. It's very unlikely that we'll actually see um, Sharma in the middle, although he 
has had bat he has batted at number six and scored an unbeaten 63 in that position. So Sharma could either open or go six, but I, I think he'll open. I think that's the smartest thing they could do in terms of the, the situation itself. To actually talk in terms of May Mayank um, Agarwal being dropped is probably not a relevant way of looking at it. He's equally as important to the overall squad and has been in for the two tests and done very admirably. Robert Sharma's back for the third. Who knows what the makeup will be for the fourth, but I think it's a particularly strong side. Looking forward to seeing that ending batting line with Robert Sharma up front. Many people have been talking about his, his runs that he'll score. He could well, he could well, he could well have anywhere up, upwards of a century. But I, again, Saini, Shardul, and obviously Natarajan are the ones that are vying for one position. Haven't had much of an opportunity today to bowl in the nets, but I'm sure they'll be vying tomorrow for their position in the team. Again, this is Norman Kochnak from Extra Time. Please view, like, and share the posts, and don't forget to um, subscribe and provide comments and feedback at wish, at will. Norman Kochnak from Extra Time.